Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Uh, today we're at K5600, and I'd like to show you a little bit of our curve system, which is an accessory for the Joker 800, 1600, and uh, it's actually an accessory that can be used for a number of lights. So first and foremost, the curve is a large parabolic umbrella, and they all come in a case that looks similar to what you see here. What I'm gonna do is walk you through the setup, which starts with our handy dandy yoke crank. Notice you just put that on and tighten it down. Very simple, can be used with either a junior pin or a baby pin. Here we're using a beefy baby stand. First thing we're gonna do is open this up and make sure that we've got room for the umbrella itself. Now for any of you who have used umbrella systems or large parabolic umbrellas in the past, you notice they can be fairly difficult to set up. We've tried to make that as easy as possible for you guys by simply having this push locking ring that you can see here. So whether you're using our small three foot or our large six foot system, just really put it on the ground, give it a little push and a twist, and then the umbrella is wide open. After that, it simply just slides into the yoke crank once you line up the grooves, put down your safety latch and remove your protective cover simply by squeezing the clamp in the back and now you are ready to install a focus tube. So what we do is we give you options between two different focus tubes. One of the focus tubes is actually pretty simple, it's just a baby pin. This allows you to use a flash head, your Joker 200, your Joker 400 or really any light you want. By inserting this focus tube into the curve, you can mount any fixture here and get that large parabolic look. Um, but what we prefer is our custom made focus tube, which is used with our 800, our 1600, a 1K, or a 2K light uh, based on the uh, projector that you put on the back. So quite simply, you just take out the tube, you give the clamp a squeeze, and you slide your focus tube into the curve. At this point, you're ready to install your Joker. What I have in my hands is a Joker 800. Uh, it's actually a Joker 2 800, which most of you are probably familiar with. You simply remove the lamp to start. As you can tell, I should probably be using some gloves. Not brilliant, but. And once your Joker is wide open like this, a lot of you are familiar with our Jolico system. It's the same kind of setup by removing the lamp. You just plug it into the back. I like to call this tube just a long pin extension. Make sure your knob's nice and loose. Tighten this down. And then to make sure that this fixture is very secure to the focus tube itself, we actually have some wave springs in here. And you give this a little twist just to make sure it's nice and tight. So not only are we tightening the unit here, but we're also squeezing the focus tube into the Joker fixture itself just to make sure that nothing falls apart while being operated. At this point, we're ready to install the lamp. All you do is swing the unit around and install the lamp right into the front of the curve like you would with any other fixture. We're down to the final step. Curve kits all come with frosted or clear glass protective covers just to make sure we're safe on set. All of these are actually threaded as well, so it's very easy to install. No screws, no hardware. You literally just twist it on. All the curves come with three diffusers in the kit, all of varying degrees of thickness. I'd thoroughly recommend to never use a diffuser on the curve, but that's why I don't light things and I make things. Um, fabric grids are also available. They're all in 40 degrees, so you can cut the light and get a, get a control some of the spill that may be coming out on the uh, sides. Comes in four different sizes, as I said, two foot, three foot, four and a half and six foot. Uh, seven foot will likely be coming in the future as well. Um, it's a very, it's a very uh, versatile accessory that really allows you to take a small light and give you a, the largest light on a set that is controllable and has some focusing range. Uh, great for beauty, uh, great for product shots. We find this very popular in those type of uh, systems. Octabanks are fantastic to make a small source very big. Nice, wide, soft source. Um, major differences is this gives you some focusability, which the Octabank does not give you. This is also perfectly round, which an Octabank is not. So when you're talking about tight shots, 
especially in the eyes. This is going to give you a specular quality, especially if you're not diffusing it. And when I said earlier I recommend not to, that's really to give you that starry look in the eyes that's nice and round with a specular quality that you're not going to get from a soft light. So this light can be soft because it can be very large. However, it gives you some directionality and specularity um, and a quality to it with a little bit of shine that's different. Uh, really helps with highlights and it doesn't just necessarily muddle and soften everything up. So this can be a, a controllable directional source to whereas something of an octobank is, like I said, it's flat and soft and big, which is, which is fantastic if that's the look that you're going for. But this can, this can hit those highlights and give you that, that shine quality, especially with the tights that uh, is really desirable. Um, beauty and, like I said, product alike, uh, it tends to be uh, a look that people are just more enamored with than, than flat and soft. So our yoke crank rotates a full 180 degrees simply by cranking on it, obviously. It's adaptable to a junior or to a baby pin, uh, which gives you a little bit of extra versatility. I'd recommend the junior for the larger parabolics and the baby for the smaller ones, especially if you're in a tighter space. But we often see these um, used on booms, to be honest. So you can, the versatility of the boom is you can get an angle uh, varying angles depending on where the boom is and how far you want it to go out and then you can control it uh, via mega boom or whatever boom you're using back at the base of the of the stand really to get the angle to where you can get as close into the talon as possible um, without uh, having grip and other items within your shot. So one of the other advantages of the curved parabolic line as opposed to some of the other umbrellas on the market is the actual material that was used for the skin um, this is a Kevlar Technora blend, and while that doesn't probably mean anything to most people, the bottom line is, is it's an incredibly uh, durable and puncture-proof material. Uh, the idea was is that th these are highly used in rental environments, and as we all know, people don't necessarily treat rental gear like it's their own gear. It's, it can be dropped, torn, drug across the floor. So we wanted to use some of the most robust material that we could find that could still get the uh, appropriate laminate on the inside to give us that quality of light that we were looking for. So uh, this, this Kevlar blend is incredibly durable. And uh, as we've seen over the past several months and the jobs that we've had of the units going out, uh, it tends to be something that is yet to be destroyed, although I'm sure somebody will find a way at some point in time. Here you can see the characteristic catch light in his eyes. This is the 800 Joker in the curve. Many stops brighter than the 200 watt 3x3 Aladdin fabric light we use to light the rest of the demonstration. So yeah, this is our new curve parabolic umbrella accessory system. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.